Larry here again from COIL. I want to talk this time about some of the mistakes that you should avoid in this initiative. And again, this is a topic that can go on and on, can be a lot. But I'm going to give you a, a handful of things maybe to think about before we get together in a couple of weeks to discuss them more thoroughly. The first mistake to avoid is the issue of shopping around. So when you've got this online learning initiative, it really needs to be shopped around, if you will, to all of the stakeholders, all of the various groups. Now I know this takes time, it takes energy, but, but finding out from the administration their thoughts, we've talked a little bit about that in terms of mission. Understanding clearly what the students want and need and desire, what they might want to buy, if you will. Your board of director, directors is an important group. Obviously, faculty are critical, I think probably the most critical part of this whole initiative. Uh, you may have business relationships that you want to begin developing and then of course you have an incredible alumni group that you want to keep in mind. So the, the initiative needs to be shopped around. The, the mistake to avoid is not talking to some of those constituent groups. The second one is really the, the idea of misunderstanding or, or misvaluing, if you will, the force field. Uh, this is not an easy venture and you will have lots of push and pull from multiple sources. There'll be issues about financials, there'll be about the technology infrastructure, the politics of the institution, uh, faculty unions, all kind of topics that are going to cause this stress in between here. That's going to be a real part of somebody and maybe multiple people's roles and responsibilities as this thing rolls out. My sense is at some level you're already probably dealing with this aspect of the online learning initiative, but you can't underestimate the, the force and the strength of that tension. So this is a tricky one. This is a rocket and the idea behind the rocket is sort of a failure to launch. On one hand, you don't want to go out launching a brand new program before you're quite ready. The dilemma is you can't wait too long. So finding that sweet spot in your program readiness and launch is really difficult. It may mean that you need to go out with, with enough information, enough systems in, in order so that your program is going to succeed, but not waiting till the very end when you think you have everything perfect because we all know that day will never come. I would suggest avoiding the, the uh, impression or the intention to hang on and wait till it gets perfect get out there when it's good enough, when you, when you have some confidence in the program, and then you'll learn from there and be able to recover. My last one is a student or an individual or, or two jumping off of the cliff. So the question is, how close to the edge do you have a comfort level in, in your risk tolerance? I'm going to suggest to you that getting into an online learning environment is going to take a fair amount of risk, of risk tolerance. And this again is going to come from these stakeholders. The faculty are going to have to have some confidence that them getting involved is going to maintain the quality of what they're all about in their academics. The administration are, uh, have to have some belief that this is going to positively represent their institution and not look bad. All of these folks, however, are going to have to have some faith, some trust, that when you take that leap, There'll be a parachute, there'll be something there that is going to support the system. And that a lot is about the infrastructure and, and the totality of the system that you build to launch your online learning program. As I said, it's not easy. You can't wait too long. You've got to get into the marketplace. Uh, and, and you've got to have some tolerance. I can, I can say this with confidence. Things will happen that won't go well. You can just count on that. The, the, the point though is, are you prepared to recover, learn from that and recover it in order to serve your students best? So I look forward to seeing you in a while and I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Thank you.